another question. What about reversal of type 2 diabetes? Uh, that's a very good question, and the answer is questionable. Uh, I believe that if you catch either type 1 or type 2 diabetes very early, at an, a, an early clue, before blood sugars go up uh, sig very significantly, uh, it probably is possible to reverse it, at, at least to some extent. Now, I don't get this from the scientific literature, although I could, I could retract that. Uh, there are studies of um, reversal of beta cells, in fact, of beta cell destruction, the classic study is described in my book, Diabetes Solution. Uh, it was uh, by Gerald Raven in Palo Alto in the early 1980s. And he put type 2 diabetics on an artificial pancreas and kept their blood sugars uh, at about 90 for two weeks. And their, a, their A1, hemoglobin A1Cs, their average blood sugars, dropped dramatically in two weeks. And it, he was interested in how long did it take for their blood sugars to go back up to where they were when they came into the hospital. He thought it would take maybe three months for the A1C to come back up. And it took two years. And that was a surprise to everyone. And it suggested that just a few weeks of normal blood sugars cause beta cell recovery, or at least temporary recovery. Um, I've now seen type 2 diabetics who come to me early. They uh, uh, have maybe may have diabetes in the family, and they were overweight, and they start tracking their own hemoglobin A1C, and they find that their A1C has gone up to 5.3, which uh, the ADA considers normal and which I consider abnormal. It's an average blood sugar of about 112. And they want me to treat them. And I uh, put them on a low carbohydrate diet and usually do not need medication for an A1C of 5.3, but may or may use a strenuous exercise along with it. And what we see is patients uh, phoning me with A1Cs coming down to 4.6, 4.4, 4.8, uh, and they stay there. And sometimes they'll eat something they shouldn't that would have sent their blood sugar very high in the old days, but now it doesn't go that high. Mm -hmm. And they rarely do this because they see the payoff of sticking with uh, uh, low carbohydrate diets. But the message is normal blood sugars do foster beta cell recovery. And the most recent article on this subject deals not with whole people, which involves many studies, but with beta cells taken from diabetics. And I don't recall in this article how they managed to get the beta cells out of the diabetics. They call them the diabetic beta cells. And they put them in culture dishes to make them grow and replicate. And they put them in two kinds of culture media. One with normal glucose levels, and the other with slightly elevated glucose levels. I think it was about 140 milligrams per deciliter. Those at the elevated blood sugar levels did not replicate, whereas those at the normal levels did replicate. So there's more and more hard evidence that supports what I seem to have observed, namely that you can arrest 
or reverse type 2 diabetes if you catch it very early. Um, I've discussed in these uh, university series uh, how I uh, have caught type 1 diabetes very early in rare individuals because I rarely am the first person to see a type 1 diabetic, right. the first doctor to treat a type 1 diabetic. But in cases where I have, we perpetuate the honeymoon period so that they remain at very low insulin doses for many years. I have one patient that's uh, been on the same very low dose of about eight and a half units uh, for uh, well over 20 years, 25 years or maybe longer. Uh, so I've seen that. So yes, there is a lot of hope, but you have to catch these things very early and be very aggressive. What's, what's the criteria you would use to say that someone's type 2 is reversed? Okay, now here's the, 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 the criterion would be that uh, I guess it would have to be that you give them a glucose tolerance test and it's normal. I have never done that. Uh, I'm afraid to. <laughs> And one can say, well, okay, you give uh, one of these people uh, uh, a high carbohydrate meal that would, uh, and you give uh, their spouse the same high carbohydrate meal and see if they can uh, con control it as well as the spouse does. Sorry. Uh, uh, I'm reluctant to to give my patients glucose tolerance tests because uh, it's a prejudice. Uh, I'm, a pre I'm fearful of pushing them over the hill, so to speak. It's not logical, but uh, the ideal test would be a glucose tolerance test, and I've never done that.